just 27 days after they arrived to inspect the site. Priestly Demolition are preparing to depart. A visit early in the day revealed a clean and well-ordered site on a rather blustery day. Equipments and material are arranged neatly for collection. Smaller items continue to be sorted out and organised. The arrival of a float truck just before 9 o'clock signals the start of serious departures. It takes up station on a windy causeway, where a succession of heavy accessories will be loaded. Including this massive grab. Preparations are then made to accept the next items. These are large and very heavy steel plates. In the interests of striking a balance, there's a set for the other side of the truck too. Priestley's team is not the only one at work. A bridge operator departs the site, only to reappear on the east side, cutting the grass. After loading the protective rubber mats, a second Priestley vehicle is soon on its way. A third, substantial flatbed vehicle is quick to take its place. It quickly becomes clear that it's here to remove the large floating platforms. No time is lost in preparing the first to be lifted. The loading operation is made to look easy by this capable crew. In short order, the second platform is prepared. And it's relatively quickly in the air. Setting it down is done quite quickly. A quick change of places allows a vehicle collecting the gas cylinders to be loaded. The advantages conferred by mechanical handling equipment quickly become apparent. A well-designed transporter and skillful handling make for a quick load. It's relatively straightforward to get the last pack on board. The flatbed can then return to pick up the sea can. It's invariably easier to bring the truck to the container than the container to the truck. However it's done, the result, a clean, efficient load, is always guaranteed. Once de-rigging is complete, and the load secured, with the addition of a few substantial timbers, the load's ready to depart. The next departure was of all but one of the massive gears and shafts that used to belong to the machinery room. Attention then turned to continuing the cleanup of the site. As a hard working day came to an end, the excavator appeared to retire and lay down its weary head. Thanks for watching and consider following this channel if you want to keep up to date.